Hi, my name is Amy Spence. I'm 19 years old and I grew up in the Greenway. I love the Greenway's hiking trails and its parks and open spaces, so in high school I started volunteering in events. I was amazed at the difference that a single person could make in just a day of pulling invasive weeds or planting native trees. Working with the Greenway got me thinking about legacies and why it's important to preserve this landscape for future generations. I know why I love the Greenway, but I wondered, why do others cherish it? Is it because of the beautiful parks or the trails? There was no way to know except to get out on the landscape and start asking questions. I started at one end of the Greenway in downtown Seattle. So where were you girls biking today? Um, we were just biking from Bellevue to downtown Seattle. Did you enjoy your ride? Yeah, yes. yeah it was good. So nice. Because I lived in Arizona where it's like brown. And then you come up here and you're like, this is gorgeous. <laughs> I went to the green spaces in the suburbs. I just love exploring, you know, just being like outside is kind of just relaxing and peaceful and you're kind of like one with nature. I really like that feeling. It's a place where the community can be a community. You might not feel that way in your street or your, your little turnaround, but this is a great place for the community to meet. I attended North Bend's festival at Mount Sai to experience the community coming together in celebration of its unique heritage. The festival is one of the many events happening year-round in the Mountains to Sound Greenway. The Mountains to Sound Greenway never stops. The nature doesn't stop, the communities don't stop, the businesses don't stop, and the people don't stop. And with each season, you see your Mountains to Sound Greenway in a slightly different light. Each, uh, each community, each area having its own unique um, character. And since the Greenway doesn't stop, people shouldn't stop experiencing it. And I went to the mountains where the sound of rushing water and the sight of kids playing told me why people loved the Greenway without having to ask any questions. How about this one right here? Why don't you cut right here? I found a connection between the Greenway and the food grown on its farms. I look at the Greenway as, as kind of, in some ways, analogous to the movement of organic farming insofar as we don't just try to produce things, we try to care for the earth at the same time. Sustainable agriculture strengthens local communities and also provides a, a really vibrant food stream for our urban areas, Seattle in particular. I followed that food stream to an important part of the Greenway east of the Cascades. People coming here can enjoy a farmer's market and learn about the region's history. Prospectors discovered coal in Cleelum in the 1880s and the area sprung up as a mining boom town. But today, Cleelum has become a recreational haven for bicyclists, hikers, and those who like to fish. Some old cemeteries in Cleelum are good places to learn about the area's past and think about the future. A lot of places, it's just billboards and development and houses. This area is growing so fast. To be able to keep a greenway is just an incredible gift for the future. That's the big question, all right. How do we keep this incredible gift for the future? I got a chance to talk with Brogan Thompson. His dad was one of the people who got the greenway started. They did it by getting people with different interests together to figure out how to make it happen. You know, there's North Bend and the city of Snoqualmie, the Department of Natural Resources, you know, national, federal, state, all these people that normally they don't kind of talk or, you know, they're, they're I want to do this and I want to do this. Well, Jim Ellis and the, and the Greenway got everyone together at once on the, on the table and they started, you know, sharing ideas. And, and it was a completely a win-win thing. This is Team Quadrant. This is our third year of coming out and partnering with the Greenway. Partnering together seems to be the key. I found it's how individuals and groups show their love for the Greenway. And we need people like the Greenway who have a, such a resounding commitment to protecting and preserving the environment that the very mission and part of the Greenway is to lead and inspire action. Well, this is action. And it really makes us feel good when we can partner with somebody because I, I can't emphasize enough how you cannot do this on your own. The Greenway means a lot to me to have areas to go to that are so close in and so accessible. And I can get out and just 
you know, enjoy this landscape, forget about everyday life, and just get a little bit of exercise and be immersed in nature, and I absolutely love it. Who has a shovel? Okay. I see we need to add enthusiasm to working together when we talk about what's important for the future of the Greenway. My friend Evan Cambar and I are part of the generation that will have to create that future. But talking with him, it's easy to see that enthusiasm is being passed along through events like the 20th anniversary trek in 2011. The trek was incredible. We trekked for 10 days hiking, biking, and camping from Ellensburg to Seattle. Never done anything like it. I remember specifically the speech from Jim Ellis at the end of the Mountains of Sound Greenway trek on the Seattle Pier, and it was incredible. It was inspiring. It was very motivational for me specifically as the younger generation, which he was talking to, to take a step forward and really preserve this beautiful landscape. Preserving the Greenway is so important. It's important because, honestly, like there's no other place like this in the United States. From traveling across the Greenway, I got to see just how much this special place means to the people who live here. For some, it's about recreation. For others, it's about parks and trails and getting out with your friends and family. But one thing is for certain. For all of us, it's important to keep this legacy going to make sure we all have a greenway in the future for our grandchildren and great-grandchildren to enjoy. It's up to each of us to preserve this special place in our beautiful Pacific Northwest.